And tapping Susan Rice to be the new national security advisor and then Samantha Power to replace her as the U.N. ambassador, the president is picking two humanitarian interventionists to round out his foreign policy team. He's also picking two aides that know the president well and can prod him to action. As they did, they were part of a team that pushed the president on Libya to erect that no-fly zone. The president hinted at the close personal relationship he has with Susan Rice earlier today at the White House. Susan's the consummate public servant, uh, a patriot who puts her country first. She is fearless. She is tough. She has a great tennis game and a pretty good basketball game. Uh, her brother's here, who I play with occasionally, and uh, uh, it runs in the family, throwing the occasional elbow, but, hit, <laughs> but hitting the big shot. Rice was passed over for the Secretary of State job in February. That went to John Kerry. But there is little doubt that she will be the last person in the room with President Obama before he makes a decision. Now, Samantha Power up at the U.N. will face some of the same challenges that Rice faced on North Korea, on Syria, on how to get the Russians, how to get the Chinese to behave a little bit more. Now, Rice's position that can be installed by the president. She doesn't need to be confirmed by the Senate. Samantha Power does need to be confirmed by the Senate. That may be for two because Rice became so toxic in the context of Benghazi, which is, of course, just one of the scandals that this White House has had to deal with. When you look at the other major scandal, there are three, but the second one on the IRS, the president is losing public support for his version of events. 47% of Americans, this is according to a new Bloomberg poll, don't agree with the president's take that he actually knew everything from news media accounts. They think they knew he knew before that. 40% of the Americans do take the president's word in saying that he is being truth, truthful. The president at the same time has seen his popularity decline. His approval rating is at just 49 percent. That's down from 55 percent in February. Obviously, the White House facing a series of challenge, challenges, but now the president has two new aides, potentially, if Samantha gets confirmed by the Senate, to help him meet these challenges. Hans Nichols, Bloomberg, the White House.